Hello and welcome to Geeks of the Roundtable Let's Plays. I am Tim of Not Another Reviewer, and with me is General Zilla of Retro Nightmares. Hello, hello. And we are currently playing Dragon Warrior. And we are pretty much on a rush to finish this goddamn game now. And Yeah, I think it's about time. Yeah. Stone of Stunlight, Staff of Rain, I think... I think those are the items we need. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. Looks like I have to actually go somewhere and get the damn thing. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Alright, well, let's go where the walkthrough tells us to go and get the freaking thing so we can actually progress once this damn guard gets out of the way. Come on. There we go. Alright, now we can actually leave. So, Zilla, what have you been up to? I have actually been working on getting all the achievements in Dark Souls. It's been a while since I thousand out a game, and I'm trying to kill time till the PC version of Dark Souls 2 comes out, so I figured, hey, why not? Right. Dark Souls 2. I keep hearing a whole lot of that. I haven't even played Dark Souls or uh, Demon Souls yet, so... So I'm pretty much out of the loop on that stuff. Demon Souls is alright. In my opinion, if you're wanting to get into the Souls games, it's I think it's completely missable. Even though it's still it's still a really good and fun game, but it's it's really different compared to Dark Souls 2 because of just the fine tuned engine on Dark Souls 1. Right. Apparently there's a shortcut to Remolder using this. Which one of the towns we've been to? Oh my god, I guess you can't really call it a shortcut because we've been getting like this crazy encounter rate of weak shit. Okay, now let's see if we... There's like a shortcut that's pretty much Erdrick Armor exclusive because you don't get poison damage using this shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. I should have cast Repel, but I really refuse to miss out on any experience since we'll have to be grinding later. Even if it is little bits here and there, it's going to still be enough to help. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. We might seriously hit level 18 before we get where we're going just because of how many encounters we hit. And I say that and we don't get a single damn one. I say one. that. <laughs> It's not going to happen. We still need like 1,700 experience to level up. We're not getting it seven points at a time. I mean, it'd be nice, because, you know, that means there's less grinding necessary later. But though, I, th I think maybe I'll just refuse to grind. And we'll just go do the thing. So that we can just, like, get it done. But I think we have to go to this town in order for this to happen. For us to have... Because we have a staff of rain and, like, a sunstone or suns of stones. Some shit to do with the sun. And it sounds like we have to go there to actually get them mixed. So that they can actually be useful to us here in a moment. See, this is the this is the point where we are with this game, where we're just kind of staring at it, <laughs> waiting for waiting for it to be over, right, Zilla? Yeah, it's <laughs> it's it's dragged on a pretty good amount. Yeah, and actually, this uh, 
it's not the shortest series we've done, but it's shorter than like the main ones like Pokemon Red and Ocarina of Time. And uh, what's the other one? We is have we been doing? Uh, I'm looking at our consoles, and I guess there's no other game we've been doing since the beginning. Just Pokemon Red and Ocarina of Time that we've been doing since the very beginning of uh, of the Geeks of the Roundtable Let's Play. Yeah, we need to set ourselves up with some variety. Okay. Wait. Once you reach from order, keep heading south till you come to a bridge. Oh. Okay, I guess I'm not done dealing with weak shit encounters yet. Ow. I have to keep going south. Sure. Well, hopefully, since this is an area we haven't explored before, the encounters are going to be at least a little tougher. Perhaps a little more entertaining, you know? Because, uh... Cause, uh... Yeah, we need to get some frustration going here. Yeah, exactly. Because me, you know, coasting through a game just isn't funny. It's not us. At this point, you know, my... My frustration is what the people come for, you know? Just me getting angry. And, like, falling over and crossing myself. <laughs> like I did with, uh... With the, uh... Oh, I'm not sure what episode of Ocar... Well, several episodes of Ocarina of Tim that has happened. <laughs> Where I'm just like, no! No, this is too ridiculous! I can't do this anymore! Of course, then I always come back and do it like the day after, or not the day after, but they re those uh, episodes release every other day, so yeah. I say I'm going to quit, but I never do. Wow. You have to use the stairs command uh, in the freaking overworld. Okay. Okay. I guess I guess that was it, because yeah, there it is. There's a rainbow drop. It replaced those two items. So now... Guess what we get to do now, Zilla? What do we get to do now, Tim? Yeah, I have, I have no idea how much attention you've been paying, but right now our uh, our main objective is collecting the three Erdrick artifacts. His uh, sword, armor, and token. Which I'm not entirely sure what the token's even for, but we do have it. Um... But we have the token and the armor, and now we're going to get the sword. And with the sword, we should be fairly strong. Even though we're already pretty tough with the sword we have. <sighs> I would hope so. We saved up a bit for it. <laughs> yeah. But it's going to get replaced here very shortly. So yeah, I don't I don't think we actually have a I don't think we're actually going to have the sword for very long, depending on how hard it is to get get the uh, powerful sword. But considering we're not actually supposed to level grind in the last area of the game, we're supposed to level grind elsewhere. I'm guessing it's probably not that hard to get the sword. But we're going to find out here in a moment, because there's going to be apparently a crazy graphical display, or at least from uh, the Nintendo standpoint. Holy hell. I thought for a second this was one of those parts where it's like, it's going to be an encounter every step unless you do something to stop it. But I guess not. I could dream. Oh, holy hell. But the encounter rate is pretty high. It's just all shitty encounters. Pfft. <laughs> 
It's like Zubex. <laughs> it is. It really is. And you know what? We have a spell called Repel to keep them away, but... Like I said, I'm not giving up on what little experience we get from them. Because every single point matters. Oh my. That had music and every shit involved. Okay. Uh. Now it's time to get the sword. And hopefully some powerful ass uh, encounters on this island. Because this is like the very last island. The island of the Dragon Lord. <laughs> A Magiwyvern. Eh, not bad. And we're asleep. See, this is this uh, this game suffers from the same issues as Pokemon does. You try to put enemies to sleep or use a status effect on them, and it doesn't work. But they use it on you, and it just works impeccably every fucking time. I'm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ooh. That's one of the stronger enemies in the game. This is one of the like Supersonic, I believe, has a 55% accuracy, and then you know the enemy uses it; it always hits. But like, if you try to use it, you're never gonna hit that. Yeah. Well, guess what? Directly surrounding this castle are the most powerful encounters in the game. It looks like a werewolf, a star wyvern. We've only seen stuff like this in uh, Hauxness. And that's the other place where the... Oh, okay, so this place is fully lit, so we don't have to worry about Radiant. Two paths you can take. Take the left left path, take it around, and you'll see a throne at the top of the screen. Walk up to it and go to the back of it. Search the back to discover a secret passageway. Well, okay. Let's do that. This is the This is the end bit of the game. I mean, we're not doing the end bit yet, but this is the end bit. Okay, I want you to bear in mind we have the most powerful armor in the game. And, uh, yeah. Stuff, uh, stuff is not favorable at this time. Holy hell. It is okay, though, because we have a spell that will effectively heal all of our health if need be. So, the chances of us being killed are pretty slim. Unless I do something stupid, which I very well could. Wait, that doesn't hurt us anymore? Okay, these don't hurt us anymore. Apparently we're not affected by any uh, damage effect tiles anymore. Oh, shit. Huh. So, the, in the walkthrough, whenever it says we get to this point to actually fight the Dragon Lord, we're supposed to uh, avoid all of these encounters. I'm starting to see why. Are you starting to get that feeling there, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Though we do pretty well with this flaming sword, and if Erdrich's sword is the equivalent of the armor that we currently have, then we should be okay. I don't have any herbs, I didn't think of that. So, that was dumb of me. Whoops, shit. I did not think of that. There we go. <clears throat> now, depending on how long it takes for us to get behind this fucking thing. Oh, there we are. Okay. Oh, now it needs to be lit. Uh, and what we're... 
So just follow the path to the next stairs, go down the stairs, and again take the linear path, pass the treasure chest. Okay, so apparently we're just supposed to head to three staircases and not really deviate from the path. Oh god damn, this is one of the regular enemies now? So, what do you rem you remember the Axe Knight, right? And all the issues we had with that fucker? Yeah. Well, apparently we're not having those issues anymore, because I just wrecked him. So, okay. So we have to endure that. So we have That's to good. Yeah. Alright, so I'm guessing because this is supposed to be linear, I shouldn't have any trouble finding where I'm supposed to be going here. What is this with, uh... The enemies managing to get an attack in before I'm ready, or dodging a lot. And these are all enemies we've fought before. It's not like they're anything new or more powerful or anything like that. They just somehow get higher priority. Stupid. I don't like it. <laughs> Maybe it's some sort of ambush thing, where they're just... They're attacking us out of nowhere, really? Yeah. Shit. This could be problems. This could give us a problem here. Shit. Yeah, we're done. We're done. Oh no, we awoke. Just in time. So apparently the writer of this walkthrough did this part at like level 16, I think? Oh god damn it! See, look at this. We cast... I cast... I, I cast sleep like four times on an axe knight in a row. And it did nothing. He cast it on me twice, and it works both times. How about that for some shit? Though I imagine on our endeavor here, we're going to level up fairly quickly. A blue dragon. Oh. Okay. So now we've got some new shit going on here. <laughs> And if we can... And we defeated it. Okay. We may have come here prematurely, but thankfully, uh, that whole dying penalty thing is not a thing anymore. Because, uh... Because we don't need money for anything. So, whatever. We get sent back. We have to do this again. We just build up more experience as we attempt to go through here. So I'm pretty sure we won't be doing any more grinding. It's just pretty much we'll keep going. Like, if we die doing this, we'll just keep coming back until we get the sword. And then I'll just figure we're powerful enough and try to fight the Dragon Lord. Not this time, obviously, because we've used way too much MP in here. You bastard. And I'm effectively asleep again. It's it's been effective four times in a row. <laughs> Make that five. This is ridiculous. The game always ignores whatever flaw that attack seems to have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were we were actually talking about that during Super Mario RPG too, because we noticed that it would always the game would always have the enemies attack. Holy fuck! This guy has got a lot of health. This is the only one I've ever seen that could survive a fucking uh, uh, critical hit. <clears throat> wow. We are not getting the sword on this run. I can say that right now. I'm pretty sure this is going to end in our untimely demise. Because we're either going to run out of magic and I'm just going to retreat, or we're going to get killed. And getting killed is looking more and more, uh, more and more like the way it's going to happen. The way the cookie's going to crumble here.
I really don't feel like I was prepared for this. How many times did we go downstairs? Twice? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. believe so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we got one more linear path to... F oh, no. This isn't a linear path. Shit. Okay, down... Okay, yeah, here, once inside you have two paths you can take. Take the left path, take it around. You'll see it thrown at the top of the screen. Walk, oh, shit. That's there. Go down a bit, all the way to the left. Oh, no. I may have lost track of what we're doing. Go down, left. This might be the one where we're no longer on the linear path, but we're looking for the sword. Oh, shit, that's the stairs, stairs up? What? Oh, that's definitely not it. We've gone the wrong way. Yeah, the walkthrough didn't specify this bit, so... Oh, boy. Damn it. Do we have enough to cast Radiant? No. We don't have any torches. Can we get out of here? No. Can we cast the Return spell to go back to the castle? No. <laughs> You would think those would be low MP spells. The game doesn't care what we think. Apparently. So yeah, now we're screwed. Yeah, we're dead now. It's it's just a matter of moments before we die. That, this is complete and utter bullshit, by the way. Okay. Oh no, this thing's definitely going to kill us with its million health. So let's just let it happen, because there's really nothing else we can do. Alright, I need a fucking map of this. This, uh, castle. Because this douchebag doesn't do this very well. Charlotte Castle, huh? That's what this is called. Alright, well, let me... Let me find a map of this son of a bitch. God damn it. I want this game so badly to end. Each next level. Well, we're pretty close to level 18, so whatever. Like I said, we'll just keep going through it until we level up. And, I don't know. And I have a map now, I think. No, I want to see just the image, not the fucking website it's on. Oh, good. Okay, here we go. So, the path we want to take is convoluted as all fuck. What would the fun be if it wasn't? Yeah. Though it did look like we were going on the right track. Whoops. Maybe. E. F. F goes down to G. G goes down to... Yes, where everything is. Is not, that is. Hmm. <sighs> Balls. Okay, where the fuck did I need to go? I. Uh, H. K. 
Okay, there. There's eight levels to the... No, there's, well, there's really nine levels to this thing. Why is this castle so big? What reason is this? Okay. Think maybe they're compensating for something. Maybe. Basically, we go down all the way, and then we have to go back up. <laughs> uh, I's not the one we want to take, I think. Because we go up I, and then we go up J. Where the fuck does that take us? This map is the most confusing thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't even... Oh, okay. I get it now. Kind of. Okay, I think I understand now. I think I understand. I think. I think maybe. But what we're going to do is we're going to buy some herbs. Because they're going to serve as our backup. Once we run out of magic, which we inevitably will. Hey, tell tell Joey to get on get in on this, cause uh, he says he's alive. What I miss? Tell him to tell him to get in on this. He's missing everything. Yeah, all the action. All the just action. the the grand excitement. <laughs> this is this is grand. I don't understand why you have the sarcastic tone. I mean, <laughs> this is high adventure. But yeah, get Joey's dumb face in this thing. Oh, man. The slime managed to sneak attack on me. The slime. <laughs> 